welcome to you your sega sa psd youtube channel please subscribe channel for more videos and to get the real time support for few days today we are discussing about schedule calculation controls okay what it will control it will control sale order quantity and delivery dates the t code to create the schedule category is vivo v6 okay in sap standard we have some standard delivery schedule, uh, schedule and types for enquiry at for quotation bn for sale order cpr cn if it is the no planning we are going to use cn if it is the planning we are going to use cp same for rush order cpr cn for cash order okay uh, cpr cn for return order dn for credit memo request cn for debit memo request cn for invoice corruption request cn free of charge cpr cn subsequently free of charge cpr cn consignment fill up e1 consignment issue c1 consignment return d0 consignment pick up f1 for third party cs for uh, third party return you can use cs for ipo cb sto nn sto return nr intercompany sto nc intercompany sto return ns okay these are large standard item uh, schedule and categories in sap okay we will see the controls and uh, schedule and category determination what the t code to create the schedule lines vo v6 these are standard schedule lines we have inside we have some controls okay if you want to block the delivery if delivery block it is available in vivo v8 also that is but if you maintain delivery block in uh, vivo v8 that will be applicable to all the line items if you maintain delivery block in here it will applicable to particular schedule line okay movement type while creating delivery and pgi which movement type has to trigger it has to control by the schedule line for return we are going to use 651 if it is a block if it is 650 Uh, seven or five, okay. Like that, we have some moment types, standard moment types, okay. That I will show you here. I'll uh, already prepare the most standard moment types. Some standard moment type for post goods is PJ for reverse PJ, okay. Six zero two for goods return six fifty one, reverse of one is normal means if we add one that is the reverse. If six zero one is the normal PJ, right? If you add plus one six zero two, that is reverse. Okay, the reverse is you can add plus one. The block to stock six fifty seven. The return order to under stock six fifty three. Return to quality inspection six fifty five. STO two step six forty one. STO one step six forty sorry six forty one six forty seven. STO two step return six seventy one. STO one step return six seventy seven. Intercompany STO two step six forty three. Intercompany STO one step six forty five. Return. Seventy-three, seventy-five. Consignment fill up six thirty-one. Consignment pick up six thirty-two. Consignment issue six thirty-three. Consignment return six thirty-four. Like that, we have some standard movement types. This all movement type based on the scenario we are going to maintain it. Should line controls. Item relevant for delivery. If you check this, system will consider that item is relevant for delivery. If you uncheck that, system will not allow to create the delivery. Okay. Movement type one step for STO scenario we have two movement types right? in that case we are going to use this okay order type okay if you maintain order type system will generate the PR back and automatically for third party and IPO scenario we are going to use order type for item category and these three fields these three fields we are going to use in for I IPO process and third party process in the one more we are discussing in the next uh, next few uh, next next classes we are going to discuss third party and IPO. In that uh, in that session, we will discuss about order type, item category, and account assignment group, account assignment category. What are the uses of that? What is the purpose of that? How it will work? Okay. Next, if the uh, VLPOD proof of delivery concept, we are going to use this moment type here. If you make a moment type here, goods will not posted account directly. It will do transit. Once we done the VLPOD, then goods will posted to six zero one. So, for if you want to say goods in transit, we have to make a moment type here. In VLPO, the proof of delivery concept, we will discuss this one. Okay. If you maintain these three checks, okay. If you maintain requirement, it is one of the parameter to transfer the seller quantity to MRP. 
if you think this is one of the parameter to perform the availability check the availability check okay like that we have some controls okay uh, how, how how we can do the item credit determination scheduling credit determination okay the t code is vo v5 here uh, we will create on a new schedule line vo v6 i am creating on schedule line i am copying the cn no planning i am copying the cm i uh, cn i am creating my own one two so i created on schedule line now i am saving this one two schedule line i am going to assign item category okay now i will create on sale order we will see what schedule and category will trigger, will trigger in sale order level later we will change our our item our schedule line we will see whether it is coming or not loading one second okay now we'll uh, I, I will first i will try to uh, i will try to create on sale order we will see what schedule will trigger this one so i enter the material quantity you can see here what is the item category here y double one two right for y double one two what schedule came c and came so i don't want cn i want what are created so the die schedule line has to trigger for this sale order. For this concept, we have to do the schedule determination. What the T code? Vivo V5. Go to Vivo V5. What the item category? Y 112, right? So uh, in, this is the mark type. Combination of this, we are assigning the schedule line. Okay. In Metal Master, we have that field. My MRP type. Okay. Metal Master, we have that field MRP type. In metal mask level, if it is ND maintain combination of ND, we have to maintain should length. If it is PD is there, uh, combination of PD, we have to maintain. Now we will see what MRP type maintain metal master. It is available in MRP one tab. ND is there. This is 62 metal, ND is there. Okay. Now in Vivo V5, should length determination already opened we should be determination for nd combination we assign one two okay if it is the middle master with pd is there we are assigning here if they, we, are, we are not assigned anything then we will assign here if blank we have to assign one two okay based on the client requirement based on the market we have to assign we have to do the should be determination now one one two assign uh, and middle master and is there so this combination assign one two now i am saving okay now i am creating one sale order with the 62 material or 60 material whatever the material okay see here sorry uh, 62 slash n I mean cs02 in previous session I, uh, I told to I told regarding this one bomb so in that case I maintain this I am removing now slash and cs02 where is the option to delay it Okay, we'll see later. No problem. It has to be delayed tomorrow. Alternate bomb one. I will take alternate bomb one. We'll see. Now I'm deleting this. I'm saving. Zero two click on items alternate bomb 1 and 2 right alternate bomb 2 ok I am deleting this ok now I am saving 
alternative one one already be deleted right yeah. middle mass level I will change item category group in previous session I uh, discussed about this topic okay item category determination I discussed so in that class you explain this all things okay what is the item category controls and how item category to determine and uh, what is the item what kind of item types we have everything I covered you can refer that video to get the knowledge and item categories okay now I am creating one cell adder now I am creating one cell adder okay what is the item category 112 right now what schedule line has to come 12 kids okay, came right okay this is the should land determination okay these dates actually why it is coming today uh, today is the all day factory calendar okay next class i'm going to explain the factory calendar you can see that i will show you now here scal may one is there any may one sorry what is our public holiday here all day calendar all day calendar let me check first of all what is our factory calendar in, in plant okay spro img screen enterprise structure definition last and general plant okay here what is our plant y 10 right we were 10 what factory calendar say next class i am i am discussing about this factory calendar you can refer that 01 is there now scal factory calendar 01 is a factory calendar 01 so 01 in that 01 is there so sunday today is the holiday that's the reason system is creating sorry uh, um, Today is uh, Monday, right? We will check the all day calendar 01. All day calendar will check 01. All day calendar 01. This all day calendar. May day is there. Okay? May day. That's the reason system, system is not allowed to create the delivery today. That's the reason sale at arrival. You can see. So if I assign this May, if I assign, if I see, if I delete this, okay, if you decide to delete this. Now I am saving. Okay, if I create order, system will system will confirm the sale order today because of today is uh, see how system knows today is all day. We are different factory calendar. Okay, you know we did today I deleted the May day. May day is all day. That's the reason system not allowed to create the delivery today's date. Now I delete the factory calendar. You can see system confirm today's date if i am trying to create delivery system allows you okay system allows you okay these are schedule lines you can do the pj so if you want to uh, if you want to create the new schedule we have to create in uh, vivo v6 we here we have to copy based on the client requirement we have to check this all the if item is not delivered we have to uncheck there is no transfer requirement we have to uncheck i mean that is we don't need to pass the information to mrp in that case we have to uncheck this don't need to check availability then we have to uncheck this okay we don't have any uh, vlpod we have to uncheck this it is not relevant for a uh, third party ipo we have to uncheck these all things it is a moment if it's a return moment type we are going to change different but is you can stick the standard dm the moment type is 651 so based on the moment type the back end inventory document will generate okay this is the controls in schedule line category okay schedule lines schedule line category controls you can do the practice from your end you can understand the functionality and item card determination on second i'm telling vivo v5 this is the t code to do the item card determination Okay, whatever item cards you created uh, in Vivo V7, for that item categories we have to link schedule lines. How we can link Vivo V5? Here we are linking based on the material. Metal master there is no MRP type. We have to assign here. Okay, if uh, 
nd is there we have to assign here if pd is there we have to assign here so based on the material we have to assign we have to assign here schedule line that combination we have to assign once you assign when you creating the sale order automatically our schedule line will be triggered okay next class i'm going to cover factory calendar you can refer that video to get the knowledge on the factory calendar once again thank you all for your time watching the video once again please subscribe to the channel for more videos and to get the real time support for few days thank you all for your time